13 threes as a team. What she's done well is both off the break here, as we see in transition, stopping and popping, getting her feet set. She's got a great look and release off the arc. She's getting ready to go. Hey, she can credit or give a lot of credit to uh, Shantia Grace. Grace has got 10 assists on the day, so she's hooking her up with uh, some dimes. But Jasmine Temple Beta, you know, against the zone, she's moving. South Florida. 15 points here in the second half. And you touched upon Grace with the 10 assists to go along with nine points and six rebounds. Another big performance from this USF backcourt. He's undefeated through the regular season. And trying now to win a national championship and match what the 2002 and the 1995 teams did. Run the table to get the trophy. Defense! 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 Cincinnati. Defense! Defense! Starting out with the basketball. Sanders, Rodebush, Morgan, Schuster, and Stevens. And Rodebush misses on that shot. Now to Sepulveda off the rebound from Lawson. Running with Denson. Grace and Jasmine win. And here's Shantia Grace, their leading scorer, just two of four in that first half. Pounding it inside where they've had some success, Jessica Lawson. Jessica Lawson. Lawson just two points in the first half, and she's got to make a bigger presence come the second half. And give a lot of credit to Jill Stevens for her ability to play just as physical when that was something that Jay Kelly Hall was very concerned about as close players for South Florida. Foul on the backdoor cut will go against the Bulls. That's going to be on Denson. And will be her first. Foul will send Val Schuster to the line. 75% free throw shooter, the freshman from Wausau, Wisconsin. Looking for her first points today. Schuster now 11 for 14 for the entire season at the stripe. Doesn't get uh, many opportunities to go there. Early second half, the Bulls playing to pad that NCAA tournament resume and make an even stronger argument. They're under consideration, possibly to be the eighth team from the Big East tournament, uh, from the Big East to go. And Sepulveda knocks down another triple. That's seven on the day for USF. Schuster gives it up to Morgan. Working against the man. Sepulveda with the push. Strong entry pass and running the floor nicely was Lawson after Stevens had slipped and tripped at midcourt. And she called for the ball very well. You know, sometimes your guards forget that your post players are running down the floor and may not have seen Jill Stevens fall to the ground. So good job by Denton to make everybody aware she was open. Routabush. USF got lucky there. Wing did not go over the top of the screen and Routabush had the open look. Radabush needs to be careful that she doesn't try and force points to keep her team in this game. She did a great job in the first half of staying balanced and creating shots both off her ability to get open for her teammates and then with those three steals, she got her own offense going. Traveling violation called on win. Full court pressure now with Wynn trying to harass Sanders. That will switch off Sepulveda to go back on Routabush now defensively. Offensive foul going to be called inside on Stevens. 
Called for using that elbow to hook the defender. Cincinnati gonna stay in that zone. <laughs> Looks like they're using a 1-3-1 to keep South Florida out of the middle, but that leaves you open for three-point shots. And there is one right there from Jasmine Wynn, just a 16% three-point shooter, but finds the range there. Just her seventh triple of the year. And that is now eight on the day. The three-point shot is very contagious. If you've got a couple kids on your team making the shot, it makes you feel good about taking it, and vice versa. And today is one of those days for South Florida that they feel good releasing that shot. Routabush elevates over Lawson to knock down the pull-up. Quick timeout here by Cincinnati at the 16-minute mark to go. 42-35, USF on top. percent from beyond the arc. And now the adjustment is Jasmine Wynn had been face guarding Rodebush and now they will put her on Sanders, try and harass the rookie. And force some more turnovers. Cincinnati has taken very good care of the basketball so far. Rodebush throw to rise. Oh, the Bearcats have only given it up five times today. We're against one of the top teams in the country, USF, in terms of turnover margin. Going to be a whistle off the ball here on the foul on uh, the Bulls. You know, big adjustment from last night when they had 22 against Marquette. You know, I think the difference in that game last night, Beth, is Marquette kept giving Cincinnati the ability to stick around and yep. couldn't hit the shots. and. You know, the times when they needed to pull back and run the clock a little, they weren't taking a lot of extra three-pointers. They're doing forced turnover right there. Empty pass taken away by Jones. Continues her stellar play today. And the bump's going to be called on Denson. And that is number three now on Brittany. Boy, you sure know when Denson doesn't agree with the foul, don't you? <laughs> Check that. It's going to go against Lawson, her third. Lawson will depart, replaced by Grant. Rado will stand down here with a fresh 30. Stokes got the tip of it, so Morgan can track it down, or win rather. Rado wish the kick out. Stevens looking for three. She has that range off the mark there. USF basketball. Stevens was not ready to take that three-point shot. I'm not sure she expected the pass from Routabush, but good job by Kayla to recognize the triple team, and there wasn't much she could do against those bigs. Stokes to Sepulveda. Jasmine with four three-pointers on the afternoon. Gets it back, thought about it. Number 10 on the shot. 